everyone who's been wondering how Miss Polly was doing. I think that this <laughs> should answer your question. She's still a little skittish about being touched, but I can actually pet her now. Well, okay, I can pet her as long as we're playing. She still has rules. Hello, Aurora. Well, apparently I have a very bad connection, so it might drop off a bit, but I'll come back if it does, don't fear. I shouldn't have got the bird out before um, I was ready for it, because she's kind of distracted by it. I'm great, how are you? <laughs> You're so cute. She is a very pretty girl. I love her patterns. Oh, you guys can actually see my tattoo now. Fancy. Really? Uh, for me, pretty much nothing. I've just been tidying up my place, figured since I just finished this room, I might as well show off the pretty Princess Polly. Well, and she's showing off her spay incision, which has healed beautifully. Hi, Fern. I hope you guys can hear her purr. Oh, sorry for the bad cinematography. <laughs> so as you can see, she's still kind of skittish, but she's really starting to warm up to the touches. I was definitely not allowed to pet her like this when Oh, it was, okay. I couldn't figure out what was in the way, but it was my hand. But, um, she's doing miles better than when she was in the room with Mama and little siblings. She never would have allowed me to pet her like this before. You're cute. Oh, you almost fell.
This might be one of the oldest cat toys I have. I think it's like nearly five years old. And it's literally just a plastic stick with some fake fur. They pretty much all go nuts for it. She has met all the boys at this point. Two of them like her. T'Challa really, really doesn't like her. And Caligula just kind of doesn't like her. But the other two, they get along with her great. Look at that butt. That cute butt. <laughs> They're not mean, they just have their opinions. I think whenever they meet a foster kitten, they expect that it's going to be a permanent residence, and they're not looking to have new siblings. Um, she is about nine months old now. I have four of my own. You're snagged. If you'd let me trim your claws, that wouldn't happen. Yeah, she sleeps in my bed most nights. And a lot of the time when I come in here, she's sitting in it too. Jeez, that's my face. <laughs> Sorry about that. The stream dropped off. She's very curious about the window, but she hasn't exactly figured out how to get up there yet. So she just stands when she wants to look at it. And I've got it open now because she likes the smells and the sounds. But I don't leave it open if she's alone in here. Because one, it gets cold, and two, she could escape. And we don't want any escaping pollywogs. Okay, do you want to play with the bird finally? Let me get a few more scratches in first. Ooh, look at the butt. That nice elevator butt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she really likes this toy.
what most kitties do. She's pretty good at catching it, too. See? Jeez. Oh, wow, that was cool. You're trying to take it under the bed. Don't do that. The babies are doing really good. Getting nice and chubby. Archie was 299 grams today and Betty was 307 if I recall correctly. I guess they're 15 days old now since it's after midnight. Two weeks and a day. Jump. Where are you? There you are. Let it go. Oh, are you getting tired? One stinky girl. There we go. Whoa! Good jumps. Oh, there's my reflection. Hi. <laughs> Oh, I should have gotten one of her treats. 
Okay, I'll set the cam down at some point and go grab one of her tube treats. That'll be fun. Maybe I'll let one of the boys come in to hang out too. Where is she? You can sort of see a paw. If I had longer arms, you'd be able to see her better. Sorry guys. She is getting tired, but she'll get a second wind. I don't know why it keeps, um, it keeps failing tonight. I guess the connection is just a little poopy for some reason. Um, what are you, little girl? Oh! <laughs> There she is. Okay, you need a break. So let's put that there. And hopefully Polly stays on the bed while I'm gone. She probably won't though. I'm gonna go get one of her treats. And I'm gonna put her food in the closet. So one of the boys can come visit. back out. I have treats and I have the jackalope. <clears throat> Polywog Come back out. Well, I guess this is a Jack stream now. I'm showing off your floof to everyone. Polly, come back out. The people need to see you. I don't feel like crawling under the bed. Oh, there she is. <laughs> The size difference is quite impressive. Hey, Marcella. Okay, now to try to open one of these with one hand. I feel like I've tried that before and it doesn't work. So, Holly knows what this is. They always learn to recognize these really fast. Because they are good stuff. She's purring. Hey. Jack in the background is making me laugh. I'm not sure if he even likes these. I think he does. He's gotten a bit pickier about treats. Now that he is seven. He's not exactly a kitten anymore. Maybe he's not quite seven yet. 
I know he was eight weeks when I got him. And it was the end of July, I think. So I don't think he's seven until May. Okay, you don't need to chew it, you doofus. Chewing it will probably hinder the stuff coming out. on my finger. Thanks. Do you want some? Let me squeeze it up as the name implies is necessary. Sorry that all you can see right now is my calf. I didn't mean to drop the phone. Okay, I guess he likes them. <laughs> She's purring. I'm sorry, it's mostly for Polly, Jackalope. He's licking her butt. He loves grooming other kitties. Isn't it just the cutest thing, Aurora? Oh. Okay. I know, I know, I need to squeeze more up for you. Jack is sniffing around where Polly's food was. Sorry if that made anyone seasick. See hey, tea dust. You haven't seen my boy Jackalope before, have you? There he is, cleaning up the crumbs of Polly's food. Are you going to use her litter box? That would be very impolite, Jackalope. Sorry I keep putting the phone down, but I really need two hands to squeeze it. Oh, up for her. Get it off my thumb too. Thanks. Thank you for making my hands clean. Oh! Oh no. 
Hey, will you clean that? Okay. She sort of got it off my pants for me, which is very nice of her. I think that's all that's in there, though, girl. <laughs> oh, now you walk away. Is that all I was to you? Just treats? She's like, of course. You expect to be more? Jack in a box. Look at that butt. That's a quality butt. Hey. Hello. So this sticky thing is like magic. Normally I can't pet her. But if I pet her with this stick for a few minutes... Afterwards, I can normally pet her, but that doesn't work if she decides to hop away. Get back up here. Come on. Jack is up here, and so are all of your toys. Oh, you love him, huh? <laughs> Am I taking it too far? Am I touching you too much? You do like the scritches, though. I can see you not wanting to admit it. But I can also see you liking them. So yeah, this past week has really sped up her socialization. I don't think if she had stayed in the room with her mom and her little siblings that she'd be at this point already. <laughs> Did they sniff each other's butts? I didn't even notice. Look, Jack's playing with your toy. Don't don't shove that down your throat. I think she's ready to go again. Ugh. Ready to show off? Show Jack all the flips he can't do? Because he's not nearly as aerodynamic as you. Yeah, she loves other kitties. She runs right up to them with snuggles when she sees a new cat. Not all cats. Okay. I'm sorry that that keeps happening. I'll probably end the stream soon anyway. But we'll get another couple good shots of her doing flips. She's rehydrating right now. So let's play with Jackalope. Jack's a very lazy player. He prefers to just lay there and try to catch it when it's close to him.
Unless you're lazy. It's not your fault. You're just not as aerodynamic or as graceful as other kitties. Because you're huge. You're 17 pounds of fluff. He's not really fat either. Like, I know you're like, haha, he looks fat. But he's not, I swear. Like, look, that's all fur. It's all fur. A little bit, a little bit of fat. <laughs> but it's mostly fur. She's still rehydrating. You ready to go? That was a hilarious jump. I love the size difference between them. I think she's like a third of Jack's weight. They're crazy about that scratching post. Clearly it has seen better days. But they still love it. So it's kind of hard to throw it away and get a new one when they're still crazy about the old one. He is a gentle giant. He's the sweetest kitty. He's been meowing and meowing at me to meet the little kittens, but obviously they're not ready yet. But I think when they're old enough to be vaccinated, if Mama allows it, then I'll introduce Jackalope to them. As is, she's quite protective, but who knows what she'll be like when, when they're older and more able to, um, like, do stuff. Okay guys, I really just wanted to show everyone that Polly is doing great. She's super, super happy and she's having lots of fun in her new space. So um, yeah, I'm going to end this now. And if you want to watch the other kittens, um, navigate yourself to my channel, which is linked below the video. And you can find the mainstream where Alice and her tiny little nuggets are. I think they're all asleep right now. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!